I'm going to actually take you for a ride on the track. It is the same track that we raced the last couple years here in Lenzer Hyde. So nothing new, but um, still the really technical, slick route track that we remember from previous years. So again, it's going to be tight racing. And yeah, so let's go for a ride. So normally we would go straight up that road and it's like a full on two minute steep climb on the pavement. It's only about 12 feet wide. So but now we're on the start of the first lap. through the stadium a little bit to be great because the Swiss fans come out in full force and they get to see us kind of go back and forth a few times. There's a steep little grunt just to get you warmed up and ready for the two minute road climb. Okay. Now we're on the pavement climb. This is a good minute and a half. Pretty steep. Definitely gets your heart breathing. All right, it's really high. Oh. <clears throat> this is where in the start lap, there is kind of this like, panic slash second start within the start. Um, riders really wanting to position well because once you get to the top here, get a single file and there's no passing. <laughs> so under the downhill, this is the first single track fun technical section. These roots are super slippery. Even in the dry, they're quite slippery. Usually a ball up of riders right here, finding for spots. are all strung out and then it's single file kind of all the way up to the top again there is passing room but we're all kind of going flat out with speed so it's really hard to get by so even after a few days of no rain in the morning it's still quite slick kind of dewy so right now I have a bond tracker XR2 2.2 in the front for some extra traction in the corners and the roots and then I'm just testing a dry tire in the rear, but I'm likely not gonna choose a dry tire because it's gonna be slippery no matter what. This is our first drop. In this section, it's interesting for the racers because we can see one another because the track does loop back on itself quite a bit. Sometimes we're being given information on the sidelines by from coaches and, and managers, but to get a really accurate feeling for where you are, this is a nice spot to kind of gauge whether you're making ground on your competitors or, or losing ground. <laughs> guys all right i like to swing wide yeah. if it is wet you want to stay off these roots as long as possible we have a big drop i don't know why i make sound effects i think most riders do when they're having fun it's not just me all right now we're going back into the trees 
this is a, whoa, if you're not paying attention, if you don't have your line right, you are gonna mess up really quickly, which sets kind of the whole track. Hi, police. Hi, Emily. <laughs> so if you don't get it right from the beginning, sometimes it's almost faster to get off and run, but luckily here, there is lots of passing. So if there's a runner, you can, uh, get by them quite quickly. So up until now, our heart rate is maximum uh, heart rate. And then this is kind of like this first spot that we can catch a breath, kind of think <laughs> for a split second and re regroup and then uh, set up for this next Rudy technical section. And for the most part, there's not a whole lot of like Mount St. Anne technical. I think the routes themselves make it technical. You're always on the gas, like there is no rest. Um, there's just no rest. It's just full gas everywhere, which is why I like it. It's a lot like Ontario, Canada racing. So much pedaling. Uh, we're gonna go left, this is a dual option. Pretty similar, but it's almost a little bit more used at the moment. As you can see, I'm pedaling pretty much the whole way. I haven't stopped just yet. And just when you think you want a break, you have to pedal really fast into this rock up and over, or you'll lose all your momentum and stall out. All right. And now we're kind of back into the stadium so the fans can see us again. Hopefully the Swiss are cheering loud and everyone at home. We need that energy out here. playing the 70s, the music in the background. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much halfway through the track now. Back under the downhill track, coming into the feed zone for the second time. than it looks on camera. We're riding about 4% here. Hi guys! <laughs> now the French are awesome. Yeah, I love that section. <laughs> Again, more roots. even pre-riding like this is pedaling the whole way no recovery I, I really like the hardtail for the four, first half of the track kind of that road pavement climb up through that cycle cross section I really like my hardtail it's so much lighter than my dually but this second half I think it's going to make or break the race Especially if it's tight racing. And this second half is definitely full suspension worthy. All right, <laughs> we got it with the dry tire. Look roots. So this is another little grunt of a climb. The camera doesn't really catch the grade, but. We are going to be suffering by this point. And then we have five more laps to do after this. Hi. There's still some lines kind of shaking out. 
I was usually going left of that tree, but just kind of exploring what's available. Again, trees, technical. Emily is happy. All right, we're back into the stadium. Go up and over the spectator crossing here. And now we're down to 150 meters with this right hand bend. the track give us all of your energy on Saturday we will need it when it looks like we're letting up we're not we're going max heart rate trying to leave it all out there because this is world championships the last opportunity to get those rainbow stripes the last effort of the year thanks guys we'll see you Saturday Bye.